Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel and today I want to tell you that not all memory card readers are created equal and I say that because depending on what kind of card that you have you may be actually getting limited by the memory card reader that you're using so why not use the fastest one on the market this is the SanDisk Extreme Pro and I'm using this with the GH5 that's also compatible with the Extreme Pro SanDisk memory cards that can transfer gigabytes in a matter of seconds this is TK let's check it out Here is the SanDisk card reader. Uh, let me show you guys real quick the model number. So this is the Extreme Pro UHS-2 SD card reader and writer. So that's the one you want to make sure to get. It says SanDisk on one side, you have the opening, and then we have the USB 3.0 uh, USB Type-A connector. Uh, it's going to work with any memory card, but the main benefit that I'm showing you guys with the transfer rate today is when I'm using the Extreme Pro Edition. This is the SDXT2 200 megabyte transfer rate. That's how fast we're going to be able to. It's a 64 gigabyte card. Now my camera is compatible with this. This is the GH5, but you want to be aware of obviously that not everything is going to be using it at this point, but if you're going to be doing 4K recording, especially the new technology that's coming in with the GH5, you need to have the fastest memory card. Now we're going to pin this against the 128 XC, uh, the SDXC1, which essentially is the one previous version to it. It says up to 90 megabyte transfer rate per second, and that's how we're going to be able to test it. Using the card reader is simple. You just put it in, make sure it's inserted all the way in. It's not going to push itself out. You have to push this little button, push in. Once you do this, the card disappears on the end and then you're going to be able to use it. I have the two SD cards connected to my PC. Now they're both using USB 3.0 memory card readers. One of them is the standard one and the other one is the SanDisk Pro uh, Extreme Pro Edition. So that's the one on the top. That's the Extreme Pro Edition on the top and on the bottom is my normal SanDisk one. Um, the card that I'm using is also rated to be at 90 megabits a se megabytes a second. That's on the, san uh, the standard one. And here we're rated up to 250. That's the other thing you want to make sure is that you're going to be getting a much higher throughput going through through here. So let's go ahead and transfer a standard file. This is a four gigabyte file that I'm going to transfer from my SD card directly to my PC. And we're going to see timing it, just basically seeing how long it's going to take. So transfer rate is about 85, um, almost, I think it, from the most part, I usually average about 89, 85 to 89 megabits, megabytes a second. It's referencing, referencing it probably about 45 seconds. Let's go see here. It's transferring it pretty quick, right? I mean, that's about the average size of a file. And you can see it's going to take about 45 minutes, 45 seconds or so, almost about a minute to transfer this data. Uh, it's not slow by any means, but again, we're talking about four gigabytes. I'm not transferring here, you know, 10 gigabytes. That's the average file I'm going to be running out when I get the GH5 and I start getting files from the GH5. So that's a real time transfer of a four gigabyte file. Now let's go over to the Extreme Pro card. Again, I have a similar file. It's not the same file, but it's a similar file that's four gigabytes in size as well. And I'm gonna transfer that file over and we'll see how the throughput is. You notice we went up from 89 to 212, 210, and we're averaging about almost 20 seconds. So we cut it down from 45 seconds, almost 50 seconds, down to approximately 15 seconds worth of time to take us just basically to transfer the same amount of the gigabytes. So we're talking about four gigabytes from one from the SD card directly to your PC. And if we want to go over and then go into an almost 11 gigabyte file, that's again the average size of my files. We'll go ahead and see how fast this goes. Again, throughput is about the same, but this is where we get the 45. So double the amount of data in the same amount of time that would have transferred four gigabytes. So that's a time saving. And also the fact is that the memory card is compatible backwards. So I can plug in the same SD card from here into this new Extreme Pro, and I'm still gonna be able to get the top notch connection speed or transfer speeds that we want. Definitely one of the fastest cards. I think it definitely a really good investment to save you time and make sure that you have access to your data as fast as possible, especially if you have large file transfers and cameras that require high speed transfer uh, rate for the SD card so that you can record at 4K at 60 frames per second. That's gonna need a lot of throughput. So this will do anything that you guys want. Regular SD card, fast SD card to be at around 90 megabits a second, or even when you're up to 250 megabytes a second. And it's done. The form factor is very nice. It's small, it's portable. You can put it in your backpack and use it wherever you want. 
Um, it is compatible with standard SD cards only, so if you're going to use a micro SD, make sure you're using an adapter. Uh, the Extreme Pro Edition is really where you're going to be getting the fastest transfer rates, as I showed you guys with the example. So if you're using an Extreme Pro card with it, you're going to get the fastest. And I was able to get around 240 to uh, 260 megabytes a second. Most of my other cards, as you saw, was about 80. So that's something you're going to be able to get the benefit of when you're transferring gigabytes of data. You're not waiting for minutes or hours. You're waiting for seconds, and that's how fast this is. Most memory cards on the market are past. 80 megabytes is not slow, but depends on how much you're transferring. For me, I have video files that in exceed usually five to seven uh, you know, gigabytes in rate. So those are things I need to be able to get on my computer to start editing and get that video out as fast as possible. And this saves me time. So thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what kind of or how fast your memory card transfer rate is. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.